No, Go just ahead. do, just do. <laughs> so I just want, I, what I want to say, really, I'm, I'm, a, I'm 100% a Just Plus fan, 100%. The reason being that it's organic, it's fruit and vegetables, it's what we need, and if you look at the way society is going, if you look at industrialization, we're not going to be eating food within the next medical bills, people are getting sicker and sicker, and, um, you know, we may be living longer, but the quality of life is not getting better mm. within us. So it doesn't yeah. matter what you think you look like on the outside, mm. it's on the inside that needs to be taken care of. Yeah. So the, the, whatever it is that we're eating now is less and less food, more, and more, and more hormones, um, you know, even we're injecting the animals, there's mercury in the sea, even they're injecting the apples, everything is going crazy. So therefore, we need something to boost our nutrition. We need something to keep our immune system strong. Because our immune system is weak, that's why we're getting all the conditions done. We're weakening it because we're eating all this plastic rice and all these things that are not supposed to be inside us. So I'll start with that. Um, also, if you look at children that, you know, there are more and more children now that are autistic. The number is growing daily. You know, it's coming from what we put inside our bodies, definitely. So, my name is Mamu, so I think I may have said that already. I'm a big network marketing fan, massive. I've been in network marketing a while. I started in Mary Kay. I loved Mary Kay, loads. I loved it. I would go up and down and do parties. Um, I was able to put my daughter through uni on Mary Kay. I was able to leave my full-time job. I was able to clear debts twice. Um, and save money and have a good life. So I'm, network marketing definitely works. If you're, going to, if you're going to do it, it works. The only way it doesn't work is if you're not working your business. But it absolutely works. You can absolutely grow an income, you can buy houses. The dream is absolutely real. Um, so my story is that I, was, I left my full-time job to do um, Mary Kay full-time. Um, I'd saved enough money to be able to live and do Mary Kay and build my customer base, continue to grow it. I was seeing Artifacy on Facebook. Now I'm one of those people that didn't like Facebook. I found it very intrusive. Um, it's for people that want to show off and talk about themselves all the time. So I thought, oh no, I don't like. But what I was there, I was there every day looking. <laughs> every day looking at this one, looking at that one. Oh, look at what she's doing. Oh, look what she's saying. <laughs> every day I was there. So I was seeing Auntie Betty and I was thinking, well, what is she doing? What is this thing she's doing? She's showing pictures before. And I thought, she's lost weight. She looked really well. But I thought, what is this? What is this thing that she's doing? And I started to see more and more of these people about. There were just more and more of them. And so because I used to look at Facebook every day, and what they would do is they would befriend me. I could see what they were doing, but I didn't know what they were doing, but I wasn't interested. But it's like they were coming like this. And I thought, oh, no, 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 no. Whatever they're doing, I don't want to. You know, they come right up close. So um, I did. So I wasn't really interested. I saw that she had lost weight. She looked great. But to me, I don't know, that didn't impact me. It was only when I actually called me one day and said, oh, you know, I'm doing this business. I can see you're doing Mary Kay. And even, I was doing Mary Kay, but I wasn't advertising it on Facebook. She said, oh, maybe you should consider this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. So then we met a few weeks later. She went to a funeral. And she had lost a significant amount of weight. They were seeing her in person with a flat stomach. And the day I saw her, her clothes were too big. She said, oh, even my skirt's too big. The skirt was falling off. Do you know what Her skirt was falling off. The skirt was too big. So I thought, okay, but it was when she said to me, oh, my blood pressure has gone down. That was what hooked me into, oh, this thing is quite serious, see me like this. Okay, right, so then my ears were open. So I had such high blood pressure, I had such high blood pressure that it was life-threatening. So I had been going for tests everywhere because, oh, I had been going for tests, been feeling dizzy, um, I couldn't really hear people. My head would get like cotton wool sometimes. Something was wrong, but I used to go to the doctors. He would send me to different tests, the Alzheimer's, dementia, all sorts of things. Not knowing, I actually had high blood pressure. Now. Blood pressure. So it was just like I went to a community event um, and they had some health friends there and they checked out my blood pressure. I said, you know what, you need to go to the doctors now, he said, now. He said, I'm surprised you're not dead. And I thought, what was he talking about? If it was that high. So I went to the doctors that day and the doctor had never tested my blood pressure. Can you imagine? So he so he tested my blood pressure and then wrote the prescription straight away and said, There you go. And I refused to take it. Because I've got so far without it, something else is gonna come and help me. I don't know what it is, 
but I know that I'm not going to take those that medication. And for me, the reason why I didn't want to take it is because I, the way I saw it is... Because you didn't want to rattle when you were walking down the street. Exactly. Because when you start on these things, you don't come off them. And then if you find, you look at all the people, they're just adding more and adding more and adding more and adding more and adding more. So in the morning, they wake up, they're taking 10 different sets of medication. And I thought, no, that's not my life. They increase the dose as you go along. Um, I thought, no, that's not my life. And your body is just full of toxins. It's not even your body. So he, him and I had this argument about whatever. And I said, no, I'm not taking it. So to cover his back, he said, you can come and see uh, the, my nurse every week to measure your blood pressure. That's to cover his own back, to say, <laughs> well, I gave her the medication. She said no. But to ensure that if she dies, they're not going to sue me, she must come here every week. So I said, I'm quite stubborn like that. Fine, I'll come here every week, but I'm not taking your medication. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, God, you know, he needs to send me something, not for my health, to prove him wrong. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, it's like within three weeks, I saw Auntie Betty at the funeral, imagine. Mm. So when she said blood pressure, I was like, hey, yes! <laughs> it's my turn, it's my season. So of course, I ordered straight away, I signed, I, and the reason I signed with Juice Plus because, as a network marketer, if you're going to be using the products, you may, might as well sign because you will get your products at a cheaper rate. Yep. So I paid the £50, I signed, I bought my gold plan, I started on my um, premium capsules, and within, uh, so I was going every week, within six weeks, there was a significant change to my blood pressure. I've got the numbers, but I can't remember them very much. Significant. Within 12 weeks, I, she discharged me from coming to see her, the nurse. She actually discharged me. She said, you know what? You don't need to come back. My blood pressure went down to 125 over 80. If you know about blood pressure, oh, you will know. You're a nurse. I'll give you the numbers afterwards. But if you know about blood pressure, from when they said it was life-threatening, that I, I'm going to die, you need to go now, to the fact that she discharged me without mm. taking any of those mm. killing medicines that they like to give you. Mm. For me, I was like, yeah. And it's at that point that I started selling Juice Plus. Because before I'm like, oh, I'm with Mary Kay, I don't really need to sell that. You know, that kind of thing. <coughs> but it's at that point that I thought, oh, this is quite serious. But in that time, I recruited my husband and I recruited my next one of my neighbors. And they were selling and doing their thing and whatnot. And I was making money from them. Just, I was just like sitting back and they were doing, the, they were going crazy. I just thought, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm a lead, I'm with Mary Kay, we were very special. So, so you went from just, just being a business to actually to helping people? Yeah. So, my next story, my next health story is, I had been, during this time when I'm, and also, so I'm 48. So I left work about two years ago, 2016. Mm -hmm. What I had been having was, I'd been suffering really badly my menstrual cycle. So I had the dizziness, um, the feeling disorientated a lot of the time, and really bad, oh my god, my memory loss. So I'd be in the office in meetings, you sit around the table, they're talking, you leave the room, you don't know what they said. That was me. Oh this was all down god. to my blood pressure. <laughs> so, and at the time, I also was having some serious issues with fibroids. Incredible, oh my gosh. I can't believe the way I was living mm. at the time. So. So this was my p average period when I before I started taking juice wow. plus. Wow. So what happened was um, I was taking the I was my period back from would me. last. <laughs> so my period would last about ten to twelve days. My period would last about ten to twelve days, and I was using nighttime pads during the day. This is what I was using during the day. And what would happen is, I would be changing like once an hour with these. Once an hour. I'd be changing once an hour using nighttime pads. So, and what would happen is, the way that my blood was, is that I would be, my blood would just go like that. It would just be like, I'd wet myself. It would be full of um, clots, thick clots that are very painful. They pass through your body very, very painfully and it would literally be So at that point, I'd have to run to the toilet and go put these on. And then um, at, at every hour, every single hour, it would be like that. And that's why I had to use night time. So as soon as I got them, I would go and change myself. And then it would go, I would change myself. 
So at that time, I was, of course, working in the office. So when you're in the office having your meetings and stuff, you're sitting yeah. on the chair, and I'd be so ashamed and embarrassed because it would be on the chair, clean the chair, run to the toilet, and I always used to carry extra change of underwear, um, wipes, tights, that's what I used to do. So if you can imagine, so the doctor said to me, okay, well, you need to have a hysterectomy. You've had your children. Your, I was by, about 45, 44. You've had your children. Why are you keeping that womb? I said, because it's mine. Because it's mine. I'm keeping you my womb. Oh, you've had your children? No. It was placed there. Why did, why did I tell you? Oh, that's their answer. So look, they wanted to kill me with the blood pressure medication. They wanted to give me hysterectomy. And I'm like, no, sorry, no. I'm not doing it. So me and, so it's funny, I always used to see the lady doctor for that. So we would be having this battle. So I said to her, look, my periods, I have to change every hour. When the blood comes, it comes like that, like a river. I sit down, I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed. So when I'm on my period at work, I just be quiet. Because I do not want to attract attention to myself so that when I stand up, they see the blood on the chest. You see what I mean? Yeah. So every hour, I do two things. At bedtime, I wear two or three, so, and then put a towel down. That was my life. And I was like, again, God, you need to do something about this because I, 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 know, I know I'm not having hysterectomy, but you need to do something because I don't want to live my life like this. So as I said, in a normal cycle, this was what my period looked like. And this is what it looks like when you've just had a baby. You see what I mean? But that was my normal 10, 12, 14 days. That's how long my periods would last. Oh my God. So as, so, so as you can imagine, so with juice plus, because I was said blood pressure, that's why I started taking the premium capsules. And as I said, within 12 weeks from life-threatening blood pressure to normal without medication. Mm. As a side effect, another side effect for me was that I started to notice that my periods weren't so heavy. Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you. <laughs> so with the painful clots, mm. I used to take a serious amount of medication, serious amount of painkillers. Mm. So I used to take Nurofen, Nurofen Plus, and it got to a stage where I could actually stop my bleeding. The doctor said to me, okay, since it's that serious, I'm going to give you transamic acid. Now, you being a nurse, you know what that is. You can actually stop your blood flowing from your, for your period. And I'm thinking... So I would take it, so by day three, four, five, I would take it, so it would last for seven days. But I thought, what am I actually doing to, yourself. to myself? Because mm. you know, as I said, I was against those taking those blood pressure med medications. Yeah, where, yeah, where does what go? am I doing? What happens? Where, where happens? Where does it go? This is not natural. So we're killing ourselves slowly with all these things that we're taking. Oh, yeah. That's why I say, when you get a product like this, that's organic, that's full of fruit and vegetables, what we're supposed to be eating, mm -hmm. Look at it seriously and hear about the benefits from the people. Oh, yes. So, this was my period before. Look, see this here? See this? Painkillers and the acid stopped my blood flow. I don't know where it was going. So, you can imagine I was one crazy woman, right? So, because I couldn't think, my memory was bad because of my high blood pressure. I couldn't focus. I was dizzy most of the time. That was my life. And then I was bleeding like a river. That was my life. Now, so this is my before. This is my after. Wow. My period lasts for like two and a half That's days. Amazing. And wow. this is what I use now. Wow. That is amazing. This wow. is what I use. Wow. No, I don't even know when it's coming. Whereas <laughs> before, I used to know when it was coming like a week before because of the pain. Oh yeah. You see what I mean? So I didn't have to have a hysterectomy. Mm. I still have fibroids, but they're not troubling me anymore. No. And fibroids feed on processed food and sugar. Mm. And they're very common in the black and Asian community very common yeah. after the age of 40 yeah. very 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 common and yet they give us these things to do or they could take give us hysterectomy and then give us hrt mm. which used to be a wonder drug but now they're saying it's linked to breast cancer yeah, it's yeah now it's linked to breast cancer so all these things that they say also oh, today the thing that's a wonder drug mm. today tomorrow is going to kill you oh yeah so we have to be mindful about what we're putting inside our body that's true. we have to be mindful about what the medical profession is saying because the medical medical profession is actually a business mm. that is very profitable. Yeah. yeah, it makes billions around the world. So, this is my, so I swap those for this, and this I use like less than a packet in a month now. Can you imagine? Mm. Whereas wow. this is what I was doing before. And the reason why I have it as a prop is so that you can see visually 
what my life was like. Mm. You can actually be able to see that picture. And for women, seeing that, you're like, mm. oh my goodness. Mm. You see what I mean? Yeah. So for me, this has been the biggest change. And for me, I'm a big believer now in the fact that we have to use something else. Yeah. The foods that you're eating, as I said, within five years, you're not going to be eating real food anymore. Mm. So we have to look at what we're doing, what we're putting into our body. Right. What is our future? Look, you've got your son there. Did you give him... Um, yeah. Okay. So, as, so you know that. So we have a big debate about the yeah. about what we're actually putting inside yeah. because children are there's more and more autism. There's so many mm. things, but there's so many things to think about now. Whereas before, everybody trusted yeah. the medical yeah. profession. Oh, everything they say is true because they're medical because they went to school, they went to uni. No, mm. not necessarily the case. Mm. We have to think for ourselves. So when we see something, when you hear about the research, you'll hear about the benefits. You're hearing our stories. You as guests have to actually take a second look and think to yourself, okay, what's going on within my diet? Yeah. It's true, it's what you said, you say the medical profession, but there was a big thing recently um, about the pharmaceutical profession. Yeah. Or the pharmaceutical industry. You know, they, they produce these tablets, you know, it is a business. It is they a are business. not producing medicines to make us better. No. They are just producing medicine, medicines just to, just to keep us going. Because if they produce medicines to make us better, <laughs> Then they would be out of business. Right. Okay, right. <laughs> That's a so point. I just want to support you this, on that. Exactly, no. So therefore, so when you so we are taking fruit and vegetable in a capsule. We are taking fruit and vegetable that is ripened, that is juiced, dried, and put in a capsule. It's a blend of 30 every day. You don't know what you're taking with that. You don't know what, what it is that you know. This you know what is happening, you know what the benefit is before industrialization. Even if you talk, if you look at Africa or before in the West, before industrialization, this is what people used to eat. Oh yes. This is what this oh, is yes. what their diet consisted of: fruit and vegetables. Oh, yes. With a bit of protein, but that was it. Before all this white bread, pasta, the, all the things that are going on now, this is what people ate. So therefore, now, if you look at everybody that's doing Juice Plus, everybody's got a story to tell about how it's improved their health. That how it's boosted their immune system because without an immune system you've got nothing. Yeah. Um, I've told you my my um, leaving word, Mary Kay, blah blah blah. Yeah. So so that's me. So that is why I that is why I'm a big advocate for juice plus, massive advocate for it. That's why I'm a massive advocate for us cleaning up our foods and what we're eating. Mm -hmm. And I said as I said, if you can leave a full time job, put your put your daughter through uni, clear all your debts. Network marketing works. It works if you work it. Yeah. It work. If you work it, it works. If you don't work it, then it doesn't work. Mm. So if you choose to join, join because you're actually ready to change your life and do the work. You don't turn up to your office and sit there doing nothing. Mm. But some people do actually, and you get paid for it, don't you? Because I used to do it at my office Very sometimes. True. Yeah. You go to your job. If you have a job like the cleaning or stacking shelves, you can't just go there and stand there. Can you? Computer yeah. But, so when you go to your job, you actually go to your job and you work. So if you choose to sign up to your business today, you get into the business, they tell you what to do, and you do it. Yeah. And then you'll be able to have what it is that you say that you want. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank yeah. you so, so much.